going to cook. Oh, first I'm going to have a beer. Cheers, start with that. Mm. And welcome to my kitchen. So today we're going to make a Frito pie, but we're going to bake it. Normally a Frito pie is in a packet of Fritos with chili, cheese, scallions, and all sorts of crunchy goodness, sour cream. Uh, this is going to be combined in here and we're going to make the meat and the sauce with pinto beans. And then we're going to bake it into a casserole with Fritos and all sorts. I'll show you that later. So we're just going to start with um, one yellow onion that's been diced and one pound of beef. Yes, beef. You can do 80-20 if you can find it. This one's unfortunately 85-15, that's all I can find. But yeah, you just let that brown and uh, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients as it cooks, once it's browned. Okay, so the meat is browned nicely, the onions are just getting translucent. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a packet of taco seasoning and three quarters of a cup of water. So we're going to stir that all in and we're going to let it cook down until the liquid coats the side of the pan and stays there. So it's just two or three minutes, it's just going to reduce a bit and uh, that seasoning can get through the meat and add that yummy taco flavour. So the, the taco sauce is mixed in and it's just getting a gooey consistency which is great. And uh, so what we're going to add now is we're going to add two cans of pinto beans that have been rinsed and drained. Two 15 ounce cans of pinto beans and one 19 ounce can of enchilada sauce. And we're just going to let that come to a soft boil and we're going to let that boil away for five minutes or so get the flavors through. And that's going to be your quick, quick chili, chili base. So we're just going to let that cook for a little bit longer. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? Yeah, we're going to... There it is. Sort of like an instant chili in a way. Even though when I do a chili, I like to cook it for about uh, two to three hours and make it really rich. But in this case, we're just going with the quick one. Our uh, chili has been going for about 10 minutes. It's pretty good. I'll give you a look at this consistency. Yeah, it's pretty good chili consistency. So we're going to take that off now and we're going to assemble the casserole. Okay, so we have a 9 by 13 casserole dish here. I've lined it with about half a pack of Fritos, uh, minus a cup that I took out to keep away from it so we can put them on top afterwards. So you're going to put a layer of cheddar, but I'm going to do only three quarters of it because my wife can't eat cheese, so we're going to make a bit for her that doesn't have cheese in it. So, layer of cheese, I used half the cheese. Normally you have two cups, so one cup will go in and then the other cup goes on top. In this case, it's half of one and a half cups. And uh, now we're going to put the uh, chili on top. And that's going to be our casserole right there. It smells really good. And the oven is at 400, so we're going to bake it in there for about 10 minutes. And uh, let it stand for a good five minutes after that. So now we've got the of this here. the rest out. Whenever you've got anything like this, it's always good to just give it a little bit of a shake just to level it all out. So that's leveled out nicely. So we're going to finish with the rest of the Fritos on top. All over. Okay, and the rest of the cheese, in this case only on three quarters of it. So I've got to remember that that is for my wife. And there we go. Frito pie is ready. It looks really good. Okay, so we're dishing out the um, Frito pie now. Just plate it up like a nachos, like a nachos and sour cream. 
and crunchy Fritos and lots of scallions. You can put on whatever you want. You can put chili peppers, cilantro, pretty much anything you like. But uh, there it is. Ready for this uh, Labor Day Monday. Cheers.